In this question, a saturated solution of barium fluoride, BAF2, is initially at equilibrium at 20 degrees C. So here's our equation. We've got barium fluoride solid. And in our products, we've got barium 2 plus and F minus ions, aqueous, because they're in solution. We're also told Ksp, the solubility product constant for barium fluoride, is 2.91 times 10 to the power of negative 13. Next, we're told the system is stressed by adding some hydrogen ions to make the solution more acidic. We're told that because F- is a basic anion, some of the H plus reacts with some of the F- in the solution to form HF. Our first question is, how does this affect the concentrations of Ba2 plus and F minus in the solution? Okay, so we're starting off with a solution that has some barium and some fluoride ions in it. So we've got some barium and we've got some fluoride. We're then told we add some hydrogen ions to make the solution more acidic. So we're adding H plus. And we're told that because F minus is a basic anion, some of the H plus reacts with some of the F minus in the solution to form HF. So that H plus we add is going to combine with an F minus to form HF. So the result is that some of the F minus is being taken out of solution because it's forming HF. That means our concentration of F minus is decreasing. So how does this affect the concentrations of Ba2 plus and F minus in the solution? The concentration of F minus is decreasing. The concentration of the barium 2 plus ions doesn't change when we add the hydrogen ions immediately because it doesn't mention here that the barium 2 plus ions are going to react with the hydrogen ions. Okay, next it's asking what needs to happen to counteract this stress. So we're talking about Le Chatelier's principle. Le Chatelier's principle. tells us that if the system is initially at equilibrium and then we put a stress onto the system, the equilibrium position will shift to counteract that stress. So Le Chatelier's principle tells us whatever happens to our system that was initially at equilibrium, the equilibrium position is going to shift so that we can make the opposite thing happen to counteract that stress. So we've said that when we add the H plus ions, they, some of them react with the F minus ions, and so our concentration of F minus decreases. So according to Le Chatelier's principle, we want the opposite to happen. We want the F minus concentration to increase. So we need to have the opposite thing happening. So we want to increase our concentration of F minus ions. Which reaction direction should be favored to make this happen? If we want to increase our products, we need to favor the forwards direction of our reaction. So which direction should be favored to make this happen? The forwards direction because it produces F minus. So which direction will the equilibrium shift? If we're favoring the forwards direction, our equilibrium shifts towards the products. So finally, we asked, how does the solubility of BAF2 affected by making the solution more acidic? Well, we've seen that it is going to favor the forwards reaction towards the products. And our products are our solution. Those are our aqueous ions. The reactants are the solid. So if we're favoring the forwards direction, which is increasing the concentrations of our products, that means we're going to use up some of our reactants. So we're going to have less solid because it's getting formed into those ions. So that means our solubility is increasing. We're having more of our solid dissolve. So how's the solubility affected? 
the solubility of BAF2 increases. So in this skill, when we have a solution that's initially equilibrium, and then we add either H plus ions or OH minus ions to make the solution more acidic or more basic, if one of our product ions is going to react with those added ions to form something else, it's going to decrease their concentration. So Le Chatelier's principle tells us the equilibrium is going to shift to increase the concentration of that thing. And we're going to decide if it's shifting to the right. That means that we're favoring the forwards reaction and our solubility is going to increase. If the shift is to the left, we're favoring the backwards reaction and the solubility is going to decrease.